Hello guys and welcome. Today we are here at the Merbach in Vienna in Austria. Thanks for having us here today. And today we will check out the new 2024 Mercedes AMG and this is the CLA 35 formatic. Alright guys, so we will start with the look at the exterior and technical specs. And here is the spec sheet of this particular car, it's for sale. And you can see also the price and the options. Alright guys, so first let's talk about the technical differences here with the facelift and then we'll take a look, closer look at the design changes. So here we have the 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine. Now this is mild hybrid after the facelift. So we have here the belt-driven starter generator, the RSG with 40 volt onboard system and also this gives a smooth startup and additional 14 horsepower which give you the boost from the standstill so this is improved now with the facelift and the power figure is still the same 306 horsepower it doesn't count together so this car can accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds. So very fast entry level segment for the CLA. And I think for daily driving, this is just the right amount of the power which you need. And also this car should sound great. Unfortunately, we couldn't do that today, but I will do that as soon as possible. Give you my impressions. I heard some clips from owners on the Instagram they sent me and the car sounds really great, so stay tuned for that. And the top speed is 250 kilometers per hour, 155 miles per hour. So yeah, just the right amount of the power, I would say. You can also get to the 45S if you want the top performance, 421 horsepower and handcrafted engine from Falterbach. So here for the design changes, we can see the power domes on the front hood and the new AMG specific grille, the so-called Panamericana grille, also new front apron, front bumper. So whole front basically looks new for the facelift and huge change are also the headlamps, the DRLs, daylight running lights. So now we can see that the LED stripe has different shape. Also in the corner, the, in the lower corner, we don't have anymore the LED stripe, the smaller one, which used to be here for the CLI. So now basically it looks like the GT4 door, just the line is dissected as you can see, and we have two smaller stripes on the end. So otherwise it looks the same as the GT4 door. And I think this is an improvement for me personally because it looks closer to the GT4 door, which this also is, it's, it's the baby GT4 door we can say. So uh, I think why not? Uh, now it looks even more like a GT4 door. Also here is the AMG logo at the front grille. The grille can be also darkened in the dark chrome if you get the extended night package or the night package too. Also new thing is a Falterbach Crest logo here at the front bumper. Before we had the Mercedes-Benz badge logo there. Also here we have the full assistance system package. Behind the star we have the radar for the cruise control, the district and other systems. Also we have air curtains which direct air around the front bumper which is now shaped in a more sporty way. The middle part can be blacked out with the night package as well. And here are the hazard light. I wanted to show how they look. So the front LEDs now turn amber to show you the hazard lights. And also in the back, in the corners, the indicators will work the same as you can see here on the video. And here is a close up of the LED. Next to that, we have the reverse light, which is slightly dimmed, as you can see here. All right, so now let's take a look at the side of the vehicle. We can see this beautiful coupe shape for the CLA. With the A-Class hatchback, you have the hatchback style. And this one is the four-door coupe, we can say. Let me know which one do you prefer. There is also A-Class sedan available. This one looks more like a larger car, we can say. All right, so now let's take a look at the wheels. So you can get 18 inch and also 19 inch for the CLA 35. And also we have here the silver brake calipers. You can also get the red brake calipers. 245, 35, 19 inch is the tire size. And ventilated brake disc we have here. And very nice AMG wheels. Turbo formatic badge. This one is on the front fender. And assistant system cameras on the windshield. We have also panoramic sunroof, which I will show you from the inside how it looks. 
And here we have the Chrome around the window. So the window trim is Chrome. You can get this uh, in high gloss black if you get the night package. And here are the rear tires. And we have here the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. The tire size is the same for the front and for the rear. So we have actually wider tires for the CLI 35 than for the A35 because this is a larger car. It needs wider tire. So if you are curious about that, with the CLI 35 you get wider tires. So here at the back we can see the badge, CLI 35. This can also be in dark chrome if you get the extended night package or the night package 2. And also the AMG logo and Mercedes-Benz logo. Here are the tail lamps. So now we have new LED graphics, same principle as for the front. Now it's implemented in the back. So the line is a little bit simplified in terms of the difference with the pre-facelift. Let me know what you think about this change for the facelift. There is also possibility to get the aero package. So you would get ergonomic parts for this car. This one is the base model without the aero package. Personally, I would suggest to consider the aero package. It gives the more sporty look to vehicle. Also this aero lip on the back would be in gloss black. So let me know what you think about that and what kind of options would you go for. So here is AMG logo in Chrome and exhaust tips, they are in Chrome because we don't have night package. If you order a night package, then you have exhaust tips as well in the Chrome and diffuser blade under the diffuser. So here we have four fins for the diffuser. So now let's open the boot and let's check it out. So here we have actually 5 liters more than in the new C-Class. So the CLA has fantastic boot capacity, you can check it out on the screen. So it's a little bit more than the C-Class, basically we can say it's more or less the same as the C-Class, but the C-Class is a larger segment, one size above the CLA. So for the CLA this is an amazing achievement to have this kind of size. This was my backpack. Also we can check out what we have underneath the boot floor. So here you would find the tire kit and also the subwoofer for the Burmester system. So yeah, really great usability for the CLA 35. Personally, I think this is a very, very nice. And not many people expect this kind of boot space. Also you have levers here, you can fold the rear seats very easily here. So let me know what you think about the boot. The boot is manual, so you need to close this manually. So when you open the fuel tank cover, you can see here the recommended fuel, 98 or more octane would be ideal for this car. And also the tire pressures for each tires, you can see here on the inside. So we can close it now and let's check out the interior. So we have frameless doors here for the CLA and very nicely illuminated Mercedes logo, Mercedes star, check it out as a puddle light. Very, very beautiful detail. AMG illuminated door seals, AMG floor mats, and this beautifully updated interior with all new AMG performance steering wheel and new infotainment system NTG7. And this is how the front looks from the back. Let you know how to like this. All right guys, so welcome on board of the CLA35. This is the facelift version. And I have few minutes because the battery is, uh, little bit discharged so a few minutes for the infotainment and this is the NTG7 the latest infotainment system for the Mercedes AMG and Mercedes Benz we have here the premium plus package heated seats and full leather black seats AMG performance steering wheel and this one is really nice with black stitching you get red stitching if you get the uh, microfiber on the seats and Artico uh, leather man-made leather so let me know which one do you prefer. Also new pedal shifters and new Super Sport steering wheel. This one is Super Sport, Sport, Classic, Understated, Navigation, Assistance and Service. My favorite is for sure the Super Sport one. So you can change bunch of settings here in the middle, like consumption, etc. You can also do full map. And here in the middle, we can find the middle screen now is a touch screen. And you can control this uh, with your fingertip or on the steering wheel as well. So we have here the Mercedes Benz functions and uh, ambient lighting. So you can see 12 uh, volt battery. And also here we can see the seat canopy. This is like a replacement sort of for the massage. 
effects, so very, very nice system. Also, head-up display, car wash mode, park tonic, light keeping assist, so really, really nice. Also, in terms of the AMG side of the car, here we have the two buttons where you can change driving modes. So we have slippery, individual, comfort, sport and sport plus. You can also see it here on the screen how the, set, how the setup is changing, you can see it as well. So this car does not have the AMG ride control, so you cannot change the suspension. Otherwise it would be here on the steering wheel. But CLA is tuned in a way that the MG Ride control is not that necessary for the comfort. In the A-Class I would say it's more necessary, but here for the CLA not as much. Also smartphone creation, integration, now the Apple CarPlay is on full screen. Finally we have the Apple CarPlay on the full screen. I assume the Android Auto is also on the full screen, so I personally don't have Android phone, so I cannot uh, like test this. But I assume why not, uh, why this would be and Android Auto no. So I think they both are now on the full screen, which is uh, a great news because before it was like uh, almost half of a display. Uh, it had uh, spaces on each side. Now we have like smaller one centimeter, half an inch uh, of a space because of the home button there. But uh, if you are driving, you are not like a two. You, you basically cannot see that empty space here when you are driving. So this is uh, fantastic news for the Apple CarPlay. So you can basically have uh, here a split menu with the, the navigation ways and like a music or the podcast. So this is uh, really, really amazing. So if you tap here, you will see the split menu. So on the left side, you have the vase, for example, I use uh, very very often race basically almost uh, every time i drive and then you can have here direction when you are driving and here you can have podcast or the music app spotify apple music or other uh, services basically so uh yeah i'm really happy with this also if you are on the call you can see here the person time etc so this is uh, fantastic news also you can make the race uh, full screen and you can find uh, basically everything. So yeah, this is uh, uh, very, very good. So what we have here, uh, I have iOS uh, 16.2, so the latest one. And uh, yeah, basically if I swipe, uh, it works also here for the slip, uh, split screen. And I have here the phone, music, apps, uh, messages, now playing, podcast, audiobooks, uh, calendar settings, and Google Maps. I use Google Maps because um, here they are a little bit better in Slovakia than Apple Maps, but uh, yeah, otherwise I use uh, Apple, Ma Apple Maps too uh, now and then, but usually I use uh, Google Maps not for driving, but for finding stuff, uh, yeah, for finding stuff, addresses, etc. And for driving I use uh, Waze, which is here on like a quick uh, select. And then we can have other apps like Messengers, WhatsApp and uh, these kind of things uh, on other page there. So really great in terms of the Apple CarPlay that this is now on the full screen. And I connected the Apple CarPlay via the cable, but you can also do that wirelessly. So we have wireless uh, Apple CarPlay. And here for MG side we have performance. So you can see the vehicle settings, the radius of the turning, also G-forces, accelerator brake. With the engine we can see the torque, power, turbocharger pressure, and also temperature of the oil on the engine and also transmission oil temperature. IWC Schaffhausen clock, new for the CLA, before we, had, we didn't have this, and consumption, you can check out this as well. So here you can see head-up display, car wash mode, park tonic, active line keeping assist. All these assistance systems are the latest one from the S-Class. So that's really great. Here in the settings you can change it up. This car has full assistance system package. So your uh, active distance S is distronic, which maintains the set speed and reacts to vehicle in front, speed limits, curves in the road, etc. It can add up speed limit, route based speed adjustment, very good system. I think this is a must have if you drive a lot. In the, especially in the places where you don't have 
a lot of uh, free flow traffic. You have a lot of uh, stop and go traffic and uh, yeah, traffic jumps, etc. I highly recommend the full assist package. Otherwise, you don't get the radar in the front if you got only and uh, destroying by itself. You can see also here the button which you can change the distance with the vehicle in front, and all you can change the speed here. And you can see there the heads up display, very nice system. I think this car looks much more modern now with this system for sure. You can also see it here, check it out. So here is the difference for the heads up display. And if you don't use it, you can also turn it off. So here we have the buttons for the AC. You can also see the hazard light in the middle. Here in the middle, we have this very nice roller cover underneath two cup holders where I charge it for a phone, 12 volt socket, USB C port now illuminated, and adjustable cup holders. And here we have volume button, dynamic button, change the driving modes here for the cameras. So we have 360 camera here for this car. If you don't get this, then you have a rear reversing camera as well uh, with the sensors, um, which is, I think, more or less enough. This is not as huge as the car uh, to need the 360 camera, but it's nice to have for sure. And here used to be the touchpad. Now we have this, like, uh, I don't know, small storage space pretty shallow for yeah for something and uh, in the middle we have here the armrest this one now has the illuminated USB-C ports and it's uh, pretty deep same as with the pre facelift these are the seats the black leather seats nice quality not super soft like the Nappa leather but still very cool and also with the stitching here very very nice I would prefer uh, personally the microfiber with red stitching, uh, yeah, that's my choice. This one is more uh, business-like, I would say. But yeah, very nice. So here is the sunroof, you can see with the wide angle. You can close also the roller, if it's too sunny, then you can close it, and uh, it's quite huge actually. You can see it even in the back very nicely, and then you can open it if you want to have uh, some daylight in the car. It makes the car much more brighter, much more spacious actually. Also you can open it here like this for the ventilation or you can open it fully here. So you can have here the fresh air now. And you can close it also here with the touch of a button. Also here you can see the glove compartment with the light and also some storage space. Okay, so you can see it here. Quite big actually. And yeah, what I what you can also get here is the MG trim with the stripes. Some find it techy, some people actually like it, so let me know how to uh, like this. Prefer Personally, I would prefer here with the stripes to have it uh, like that, but uh, here it looks more clean, uh, we can say. Also continues here in the sides. And also here we can see the Burmester surround sound system. You can see it here. And also we can see it here in the doors uh, with the speakers. And the logo is in the silver as well, as well as the surrounding of the speaker. On the top we can find here the sun visor and mirror and the light. So here you can find full memory seats for three positions, also heated seats. And very nice silver stitching. This would be red if you get the Alcantara and the Artico leather, man-made leather. Also here we have the controls for the lights, parking brake and rear fog light and you can change the brightness of the screen during night time. Here is the transmission lever, park, reverse, neutral drive. And when you wash fluid wipers, you control here with this stock on the left side. And largest MB star ever fitted to a steering wheel. And here on the top, you have the light controls, SOS button, and Mercedes Me button as well. So now let's open the rear doors. These are frameless as well. And we will check out all the space, what you can find here in the CLA 35 AMG. So let's hop inside and check it out. 
All right, so here I am in the back of the CLA. The front seat I set the same as I would sit as a driver to my driving position. And I have just enough room here, I would say, like, uh, I would call these like three centimeters, more than one inch, a little bit more than that. But if I sit like this, relaxed, I have uh, plenty of room here. Just enough, I would say, for my height. So, uh, yeah, speaker here for a Burmester and very nice uh, sport seats. You can also get the performance seats, but these are more comfortable. So, personally, I prefer these. You can also see here the infotainment system. So, here in the back, I'm just touching with my hair the headliner. And I think this is, uh, I'm like the limit what is possible. You can lean a little bit forward, sure. Then we have like one inch of the headroom, but I would say taller people than me would struggle here. I'm 186 centimeters, six feet and one inch. So yeah, that's my height. If you're looking for more taller rear section, then you can take into consideration the A-Class, hatchback A-Class sedan, if it's available in your area, or CLA shooting brake, for example. Then also the GLA or GLB, that would be much more spacious. So this one it needs to take into consideration the styling shape of the coupe. But personally, I think it's a great achievement to have this uh, kind of headroom for uh, me with this swooping uh, roof line. So yeah, I think it's a, it's a good job. And here is a wide angle, so you can see also the sunroof. It ends just behind the front seats, as you can see here. And the roof is shaped in a way so you have more headroom uh, in the back uh, of the car. But still we can see this has a sloping roof. So you need to take this into the consideration. Isofix for the child seat. And here in the middle we can find the armrest. This one you can fold out and here we have two cup holders. It's white for two arms, no problem. And here we have the USB-C port also illuminated. Some storage space and you can also see ambient lighting and some door pockets in the doors illuminated as well. Also the boot is not directly connected here with this area so uh, you can place something here uh, on the top, on this parcel shelf as well, like, uh, I would say like a jacket, something like that, not, not something heavy, for sure. And here is the key fob to this car with AMG logo. You can also get the back part with a Falterbach logo and change it up. Or I guess that's it for this video. Let me know how do you like the new CLA35 facelift in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notification bell so you are notified for all future episodes. And I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.